Okay, guys, so this is going to be um, a video on uh, using editing software that I have installed on my gym computer out here. So I'm in my gym shed. I should probably do a video about this at some point in time, the shed itself. But I'm out here. I have a dedicated workstation out here. And I just recorded a video on K9S, and I thought, well, it's, since I'm going to do a little bit of editing in that video, like cropping out a section that I didn't like of how I was speaking in that section, I figured I'd at least just show you what the editing software looks like. This would be a great example of an alternative to using Premiere or uh, Final Cut Pro if you're on an Apple. And uh, so what I'm using is called Kaden Live, and it's an open source video editor. It's actually really good in my opinion. Um, but that's not like, like I'm surprised because open source, it's good. Like a lot of open source things are very good. And so this is one of those things that's really good. Um, Kaden Live is free. You can download it, um, install it on Windows, Linux, or Mac. So you've got, you can run it across the fleet of, of common operating systems. And um, it's a great product. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Crashing, I haven't really used it extensively or done really complex editing I do mostly just cuts and crops of my videos, like something I didn't like, so I just kind of cut it out. So that's all I really use them for. Um, but Kaden Live is uh, a great tool to do that kind of thing. And it's free, right? Adobe Premiere is pretty expensive. You can't buy Premiere anymore. you got to buy a subscription. And unless you've got a student um, um, license or student ID, then you can't really get a good price on it. It's pretty expensive. So, and if you're only doing a couple video edits, you're doing simple crops, like do you really want to pay $35 a month for software? I don't. So Caden Live here, um, I just wanted to go through it really quick. I've already added my clip. It's pretty easy to add clips. So like if you've got, you, you run Caden Live and you want to add a new video clip, you add it here. Say add clip. Um, sorry, this is kind of large for the view there. Okay, so like you could just add this video, which is the one I already added. It'll put it on in here as an option, and then you can drag these into the timeline. So you can see you can add multiple videos to the timeline. We're not going to do that because I've already added it. This right here is a preview of the video. So if I hit play here, yeah. Kubernetes. Okay. Sorry, I had it like in a different section there. So it's going to it's going to show you that you're going to hear the audio from it. So let me just play it, and you can see. Okay. So that's the preview of the video. This is the preview of your scene. So as you drag your scene around, the scene indicator, whatever this thing's called, where it shows exactly where in the scene you're looking at, um, it, it, this is the, the preview for that. So you could take these two windows. I think you can resize them. I could have swore. There it is. It's kind of in a weird spot. But you could take this and shrink these two. I mean, obviously, I would think you would want the preview over here on the right bigger because that's the editing. And then this would just be like, let me look at the clip really quick. The reason it's not sizing all the way over is because this preview is a 16 by 9 and, it'll, and it's already hit max height. So I could technically take, grab this thing maybe and shrink it as slow as it can go. And it doesn't look like I can get much lower. I could zoom. Mm, that's not the zoom I'm looking for. I was hoping I could take and like reduce these heights. Oh, you can. Oh, so you can do one at a time. That's kind of cool. So you could grab this and you could be like, ah, I'll just shrink that a little bit and grab this one, shrink that a little bit. And then you could technically take this, I think. Nope, I won't let you go any smaller than that. So no reason to shrink these. If, if you uh, likely have a bigger monitor, well, I do. I'm actually on a 4K, but I'm just recording a section of that 4K. So I don't, this screen doesn't really like, if I were actually editing this and not recording me editing it, I would make this screen much bigger, so this preview here would be much larger. Anyhow, so I just kind of wanted to show that piece. Um, and then the other pieces that you can do here, very similar controls on the on your uh, video editing that you're doing. So you can see, like, I sliced it here or cut, and then I, I moved them around. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of that capability in this product. So this is your zoom thing, just like you'll find in other tools. If you grab this and you go like this, you can see it's zooming way in. And maybe at some point it'll show me a preview. Maybe it'll load those. I don't know. But if you tab through here, you can kind of see. And now I've got, you can see this is like 16, 21, 26. So these are really tight. You're seeing a lot of, uh, you're zoomed really far into it. You're not seeing much of the clip except for like a minute, to one minute from here to there. And the clip's like 17 minutes long. So... Um, so if you didn't like a certain section, like maybe there was a section right here that was quiet and you're like, I want to delete that or something like that, like maybe this one, you could go right here and you could grab like this snipping thing and you could grab this and you could snip it. 
So you could cut right on that line. So now I've got a cut there. So right now, I haven't done anything to the video. So if you were to play this, it would actually, um, you wouldn't even tell that there's a cut there. So let's go ahead and try Dang that. Homebrew. Yep. So, but if I didn't like something there, I could like cut this out. So you could do something like grab the edge of this. Wait, go back to the arrow. So grab the edge of this and then resize it to there and then push these together. And you effectively just deleted that little section there. Updating homebrew. Oh, I don't remember exactly how long this takes, honestly. Oh, it's done. So actually, that's not bad. I could probably even leave that cut there. Updating homebrew. Oh, I don't remember. Yep. So I, I obviously had a dead zone there. I probably do that a lot. You can kind of see all my audio dead zones here and there. And so um, I did move the clip over a little bit by deleting a second or so there, which means that in this section, these clips probably did not stay together. So I would need to grab this guy and drag him over into the edge. And there you go. So um, you can get to the end. I just kind of want to make sure that the end of my video just has about 20 seconds worth. So we go from 15, uh, 38 when the disclaimer shows up to 15.53, so about 15 seconds, so that's fine. So if I had like a 20 second, check out my other subscriptions, other videos pop up at the end of my YouTube video, then it kind of, you got a lot of blank space there. You could always cut this or reduce this size if you wanted, if it was too long or too short, um, or add other things that you might want there. Um, you can also do some other things like uh, over, I think you can do transition related stuff and I actually haven't figured that part out, but I know that it's got the capabilities. So if we go to like effects and you can look at all these effects here. So it's got, you know, alpha shapes. That's kind of interesting. Alpha masking and king. It's got some audio effects that you can do. Well, that was a lot. I'm kind of curious if it has motion fade in fade out. So if you wanted to add fade in, could you drag it on here? So I could drag it right there. So it's got a little fade in indicator. Let's see what that looks like. Do actually two last things. One, over to this my spoke ping and you oh, edit this. That. You can fades in nice and slow. I don't really want that, but that's interesting that you can put that there. So I'm going to click on it, hit delete. That did not do what I wanted to do. Right click on it maybe and say delete effects or paste effects. Interesting. So delete effects. So got rid of the fade in. Now, what if you wanted like a crossfade or something between the two? I'm not sure how you would do that. I'd have to look at that. But as you can see, it has like a bunch of effects that you can do. It's kind of cool. All kinds of things that you can do, honestly. There's a lot in here that I need to play around with and figure out. So I didn't really want to make this a super extensive video. I'm not showing you guys exactly how to use the product. I just wanted to show you that there's other options out there. Um, of good software options out there besides Premiere and Final Cut and even some other things like I had this product called Vegas Studio 17 from Steam and it worked for the time being but it has a, it has some problems it crashes locks up it doesn't like some of the video formats that I give it so sometimes I have to convert them like FFmpeg using using FFmpeg I'll take an MKV file and I'll put it to an MP4 or something like that and change the codecs and Every time you do that, though, it's uh, you lose. There's a little bit of loss. Like every time you compress or recompress stuff, you get a little bit of loss. And actually, I should do a video on that because that would be kind of fun to see. Is like take take um, a video and <laughs> run it through an FFmpeg <laughs> like re re encoding kind of thing over and over again a hundred times and see what the video looks like at the end. I'm sure it would be absolutely bonkers. It'd probably look pretty crappy, honestly. Something from like, uh, I don't know, 1990, back when I got into computers. Actually, it was the 80s. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If you were looking for something to use uh, for video editing and you didn't have any money and you just wanted to make a YouTube channel, this is a great product. Trust me, you can use it for everything that you might want to do. If you got the money, then some of the other tools are better. But if you don't have the money, just go with something like this. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. So, okay, so I hope this is helpful, guys. Appreciate everybody watching my stuff.